Right, good morning and welcome back to another vlog here on Cogs the Crazy YouTube channel. Yes, we're at Alton Towers. It's only the second time I've been this year. And the main reason for me being here today is there's a, an event on, the uh, Your Experience Guide event. Second one I've ever done. This one's called 13 Smiles, I think it's called. So we're, we're in the park, we're just walking in now, just got nine o'clock and we're going straight down to the Smiler for an ERT on the Smiler. I'll only do probably one or two rides on the Smiler, so uh, let's see how it goes. But yeah, I got me uh, pass out and let's get in the park. Right, so we're in the park now and there's, I'm at the back of the, yeah, I'm at the back. He's waving at the other screen. <laughs> They're on it now. Um, yeah, on the telly now. he's on the telly now. Yeah, so uh, yeah, if you haven't bought the merch as well already, go and get some because it's really nice. I think Paul's got some merch on today. So Paul's here, uh, Ben's here from uh, Ben There Done That. Obviously Scott, Big Turn, Big Mike, Big Mike. Is it? It's Big Mike here. Yeah. Big Maybe Mike. Rugby shirt. Oh, is he? There's a big crowd of people here, so we're walking straight down to Smiler, Smiler, uh, which I'll do probably once, because um, yeah, I'm not that keen on it really. It's a bit rough. Shopping trolley, <sighs> shopping trolley, shop trolley, down shop down trolley the ride. It's also Oktoberfest here as well, which um, yeah, I don't think I've ever done the Oktoberfest before. In fact, I don't think I've ever done an Oktoberfest anywhere. Yeah, nice anywhere. German sausage. Right. I've got a new lager no. as well. <laughs> no, I'm not into the uh, big bratwurst. If you're having a big bratwurst, you got a German if you like, you got some proper. sausage. Is it really? Yep. Crazy prices. Um, so yeah, we've got uh, an ERT on 13 as well, which is at the end of the day. We've also got a, a talk with Bianca the park manager and uh, yeah there's got to be loads of people here Scarefest update Daz Games in the hospitality store. oh god who is Daz Games I didn't. Even, I don't even know who half of these are I know he's a massive YouTuber no, I don't even watch you on YouTube no I've never I don't, I don't I know who it is I was wondering it was where it was going to be then I saw these boards and went yeah it's an hospitality store yeah um, oh yeah that was awesome oh, I yeah that. I did, I, have I, you I, got have you got a VR no headset? I've not got one at home I've got the Quest 2 it's amazing a Quest 3's out I've got a headset that I put my own mobile phone in is that what they are uh, you no put your own mobile phone no 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 it's it's built in you just put it on turn it on and then I don't that's have it. it's well like good I think I had a cheap Quest one two. from somewhere <laughs> Quest 2 it's really good these events uh, if you've never done them before Book on it. I don't know how much it was because Paul paid for it. Was it twenty, 20 quid? Yeah. Twenty pounds if you have a season pass to get in, or you have to buy admission. Yeah, so it's twenty pounds, and if you've got a season pass, then it doesn't cost you any. Well, it does. Extra. <laughs> it doesn't cost extra. <laughs> Still got to pay for your season pass, but yeah, I've got the the monthly one. So what is it? Eleven pounds a month, which isn't too bad at all. Where's it gold? Yeah, platinum. Got I've got the platinum one. Yeah. Platinum. Yeah. Pounds ninety nine a month. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I don't know then. <laughs> I just, just got a sound tower. It just comes out of my bank account. Park and stuff and all. Yeah. Put it this way, my hourly wage pays for my annual pass for the for the month, so I'm not bothered about that. But yeah, also going to Dubai at the end of the month as well for my third visit, so I can't wait for that. I'm going to be New Year. Eftelin? Yeah. Again? Yeah, I need to go back there. I've got two creds there. The uh, Max and Mortis, yeah, 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 I've not done well, those yet. About a month ago, weren't it? Yeah. Did the uh, Efteling, Tovalon, then went to France, did podcast tricks and Disneyland Paris. Yeah. The other thing is as well about these meetups, I've got to say, is uh, you do, if you're an enthusiast and you're on Facebook, you get to see a lot of people, names pop up in groups. One of them is Jason, I yeah. see him quite a lot in groups. This is Jason. Hiya. Hiya. <laughs> and him. Ethan. Ethan, there you go. Well, yeah, there's loads of people here. There's more uh, scarefest construction going on over there. It's a real there. shame Owen, um, Andy's best friend Owen couldn't be here. Oh, Owen, yeah, yeah, well, that Owen, yeah. Not seen Owen for a while. Um, yeah, I could actually do like three or four videos today. I could obviously just do this event. I could do a general Alton Towers event, vlog. Sneaky pops. No, can't do those. <laughs> not anymore, not no. anymore. No, I'm not allowed to no do those. Pops. No sneaky pops, <laughs> especially here. Um, Not Merlin. <laughs> no, um, I could do like a Scarefest update, I could do an Oktoberfest vlog. But yeah, I'm not really into the Oktoberfest stuff. We'll go and have a look, but yeah, let's get down to the Smiler. Right, 
here we go. It's our time to get on the smiler. Probably the once, so just the once. Just, just the once. ART. It's closed apparently, but not for us. Eh, Paul. Hey! He's on the smiler now. Not yet. <laughs> and his daughter's here as well, Mary Jane. She, na she named after Spider-Man? Yeah. yeah. Stephen chose it, yeah. Ah. The, the first Spider-Man film was massive at the time. Oh, Stephen no, was yeah. well into it and he, he actually chose oh. it. Name, it was only four. Named after Mary Jane from uh, Spider-Man. That's cool. Mary Jane Watson. Say, Mary Jane Watson. Saying that if I had kids, twins, they would be named Luke and Leah. <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> Just a bunch of nerds, yeah, 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 proper geeks. Well, I've not got to call it the Smiler, am I? Right. <laughs> right, here we go. We're walking into the fast track. Loads of fans of the channel here as well. Hey, you're all right. Get your merch. Get your merch out. Get your merch out, for it, lads. Uh, so yeah, how long have we got in here? An hour? Half an hour. Half an hour. Can't do this for an hour. No, uh, no POVs allowed. Although I think Scott was asking if they can. I don't. I don't really know how it's got to work. You, you've seen it before, anyway. 14 inversions. Don't sit on the back. Sit on the front. Right here we go. Two for me and I'm done. <laughs> Game over. Oh my god. Yeah, it's um, yeah. I actually did the front row and the back row. And the back row wasn't actually that bad, believe it or not. Fairly smooth in some sections of the of the track, which is uh, yeah unheard of really. Not too bad. I can't do it a third time though. I'm I'm done. <laughs> Everyone else is still running around. They've got the bottom gate open, so when you come down this, um, when you come off the train over the bridge and then uh, down the stairs, there's a gate open so we can go straight back up again, so we'd have to come back out and queue up again. But, oh, oh. yeah, game over. <laughs> yeah, that's enough for me. 14 inversions, times back by two. Yeah. 28 versions I've just done on one ride. Game over. Game over. So, come and get some off ride. Yeah, this thing's insane. It just needs a bit of a repaint on the track though, uh, and a bit of a tidy up around it though. But yeah, it's impressive to watch. It's an impressive ride. Gerslauer Infinity Coaster. Interaction with the two trains as well. It's running four trains at the moment. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what's next, but I'll see you in a bit. I'll get some other people's reactions as well. One thing I forgot to say, and one of the reasons why I've not uploaded a video in the past two weeks, maybe longer, I actually had COVID for the second time. I actually had it really bad. It's probably why I might cough a bit. I've, I've still got a bit of a cough. I'm all right, I'm all clear. Uh, but yeah, I had COVID again. I don't know how, how I managed to catch COVID while I'm up a tower crane on my own all day. I don't know, I just felt awful one day got home took the test and yeah it was it was positive i was actually planning on going to um france to park asterix but 
I didn't actually do anything that weekend and last weekend it was so hot it was unbearable hot so uh, yeah Paul and Mary Jane are going on uh, I don't know what twist twister tron one of the flat rides they've got here or the funfair rides you got the Tivoli Extreme here which I've actually done this was um, a, a, a T Smith fair a few years ago I'm pretty sure it's that one so I have got a dedicated POV on the channel from this ride and you got Twister Tron over here where Enterprise used to be it's pretty much the same as reverse time that's at a great yeah hello yeah I got you yeah hey hey pretty much the same ride that's at uh, Great Yama's Pleasure Beach I've now done four different dive courses and this is still the best drop not the best dive coaster though is no. it <laughs> still the best not drop. Valkyria it's not Valkyria no um, yeah, Oblivion, five minutes, we might as well do it while we're here and uh, see how it goes. The rumours are going around, or well, it's a bit of a, I don't know what it was, a rumour or uh, I don't know what he was doing, but yeah, John Burton, who's the creative director for Merlin, was stood in front of the drop holding an RMC cup and said something's coming on the horizon. But why would it be stood in front of Oblivion? Yeah. Now, <laughs> my theory is this is the next coaster to go. And uh, it could potentially be an RMC single rail. There's no other way they could do anything with this coaster. If they were to retrack it, how can they do that? Half the, tr half of the track's underground. So they would have to dig the path up to get the track out of the ground. I'll tell you what though, I'd rather to keep this and get rid of the smile. <laughs> How many rides did you do? Four. Four. <laughs> I couldn't have done many more. No. I mean, you know, Game you know, over. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I could see Oblivion being the next coaster here to go. Now, Project Horizon, we don't know what's going on with that to be honest. Do you have any ideas? Project Horizon. No idea. I don't know. <laughs> people are people are saying into me in a uh, four-dimensional coaster or something like that. But yeah, I know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, Oblivion. Let's uh, go for a drop. And action! Right, we've just come off Oblivion and. Uh, it's all right, but yeah, I've got to take out my frustration <laughs> on this boxing thing. I'm a big fan of Tyson Fury. I've actually met Tyson Fury where I worked in uh, as a taxi driver in Morecambe. I met him, and I've seen him and Eddie Hall do these. I'm probably not that good, but the last the last kid just got six six five. It's a pound ago, so uh, let's see how I do. You can beat that. Andy Rumble couldn't whip the skin off a nice pudding. Right, come on, Billy Big Bollocks. I've been a little kid, so uh, yeah, 775. How many goals do you get? Go Get angry. Eh? Angry. Ah! Oh. oh. Could have gone harder than that, but yeah. I'm, come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. <laughs> oh, I nearly had it over then. Oh, I got 799. <laughs> what did he say? You're rubbish. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you only seem to get one go for a pound. Get 10p, is this, uh, what is this? An example of toxic masculinity? Yeah, no, we're taking our frustration out for the rides but yeah oblivion was all right it's showing its age now it's pretty rough it was on the front row amazing views over the countryside here in staffordshire 
and then it broke down and we got stuck on the brake run for two or three minutes i don't know if there's anyone even on it yeah there's people on it it's not even going around it's back on yeah right let's go and get a brew So we made our way over towards Rita and it was a 20 minute wait time advertised and it was 20 minutes and it was all right. I haven't actually done Rita in a while. I can't remember the last time I did Rita actually. Pretty good, Intamin launch coaster with the uh, hydraulic launch. And yeah, there's a lot of these getting replaced now. Uh, obviously the, the main one currently at the moment it's Top Thrill Drugster at Cedar Point, that's getting a full uh, LSM launch put on it, it's getting a big spike on it, done by Zamperla. Uh, yeah, I can't see them doing much with Rita, to be honest, in the future, but it's all speculations, isn't it? We all come here, we all go, oh, I'd like that to be something else, but, you know, it was actually really good, wasn't it, guys? Amazing. Amazing! So good. Yeah, Paul, what, what's that T-shirt you've got on there? Hey! Available from all good uh, YouTube channels. Got my phone. What are you please. eating? <laughs> butties? Butties? All this Sean Sambrook brings butties to Alton Towers. <laughs> um, well, yeah, get your merch. I've just noticed he's got the blue t shirt and it's, uh, it's, a tr it's actually a transfer stick on, whereas this white one, it's, uh, it's printed on. You notice, yeah. Yeah, uh, I prefer the printed one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Printed. Um, yeah, you've got all the stuff around here as well. The cable car is down for the rest of the year. Shocker. That's really bad. Uh, Hex is also down for the rest of the year. Um, and you've got all the things down there. You've got the, the, uh, the dungeon, which I've only ever done once. That's an upcharge. And you've got Gangster Granny and that on the other side of the tower ruins here. Um, it's not too bad. We've actually got a talk at 12 o'clock in less than half an hour so we need to walk all the way to the entrance now on tower street we've got a talk with bianca who is the managing she's the managing director of the park or yeah managing director of the park um that'll be interesting to get some questions and so yeah i'm sure i'll be able to film that i'm having a really good day so far i've only been on three rides i mean what time is it now i know oh, i just said it's nearly 12 o'clock so uh yeah, <laughs> three rides in uh, three hours. Well, saying that, I had two on the Smiler. But yeah, I, 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 I do enjoy towers. I do enjoy coming here. It's just, it's just massive, isn't it? And it, you just spend most of the day walking around and standing in queues waiting for stuff. But uh, yeah, I, I would like to see some updates with the park. I mean, I think everyone wants updates with the park. Uh, Rita's obviously not got much life in it really to be honest and so same with the other rides here as well but I don't know what you could replace half of the stuff with to be honest other than you know putting a LSM on, on, on Rita pretty much the only thing you could do retrack it and put an LSM on it I would like to see a, a new generation into in launch coaster uh, in its place like Tarun or anything like that but again you can't have anything that's too high over the tree so what do you do? I, I don't really know. But yeah, we just have to wait and see. And it? it's like the thing with Project Horizon, like, you know, there was sort of rumors going around that it could be an RMC. We don't really know. You know, people were saying it's going to be a new generation Intamin uh, Dimension Coaster or whatever, the, whatever you call them. But I don't really know. We just have to wait and see. And it? it's, it's a surprise really that's the, that's the benefit of being an enthusiast, isn't it, Paul? Bianca Samut is Sa the Sam current Alton Towers Divisional Director. Divisional Director, there you go. Right, so we'll walk around 
to the uh, the suite. It is open for us all day if we want to hang out in there. And I think we'll go from there to maybe Wickerman or to the other end of the park. I haven't been on uh, Nemesis Subterra yet. I have done it before when it when it originally opened. Uh, so we'll go and check out that. We'll check out the construction for Nemesis Reborn or whatever it's going to be called. I think I don't even think they're even got to change the name, are they? No, Nemesis Reborn. It I is trademarked it, haven't they? Tr trademarked it. Yeah, that's a cool name. We'll check out that. What else do we need to check out? There's a bit of the uh, Oktoberfest. Cursed, the curse. Oh yeah, curse. Yeah, curse at Alton Manor. One of the best art raids in the UK. MJ wants a giant pretzel. Yeah. A giant pretzel. Yeah, giant pretzel. You don't want a big sausage. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Family channel. Um, yeah, Paul went to Thorpe Park a couple of weeks ago, didn't you? Yeah. And he said Ghost Train is one of the best things he's ever been on. The acting. Forget Curse of Altmauer, Ghost Train's where it's at. He must have been sniffing somewhere. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's not. The acting was made it for me. Curse of Altmauer is way better. You want to see actors go to the theatre now? Yeah. Oh, no, trust me. That's better. Theatres. Right, we'll see you around at the marketing suite. <laughs> Right, so I did say at the start of the vlog that it is currently uh, Alton Towers Oktoberfest as well. They have a board here, there's no times on it. <laughs> so you're probably best downloading the uh, Towers app for that, but yeah, there's um, shows. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I don't come to theme parks for shows. I know a lot of people that are into stuff, I know like um, channels that are coming here and literally just film a dedicated Oktoberfest vlog, but there's not really much here to warrant a, a, a separate vlog for that. So you've got this inflatable entrance there, you've got the nice flooring on the ground, you've got a fire pit here, toasted marshmallows, and your German breakfast and bars, and they've got the big stage over there. And I think there's something over in Mutiny Bay as well, there's a beer keller and things. But yeah, I don't, I don't come to theme parks for events and things. It's like when I went to Thorpe Park and they had the Mardi Gras on. We don't even celebrate Mardi Gras in this country. It's just something for the, the parks to capitalize and get more people through the door, you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, I think they're wanting a what, um, pretzel. What they got, yeah, hog roast, oh my God. Hog roast there, uh, nine pound for a brioche bun or 10 pound and a white baguette. So it's not, it's not cheap. Freshly made churros. £7.50 for a Lotus Biscoff. Nice though, isn't it? I like the uh, the decorations on them. And then you've got the big stage over there with about 15 people watching it. There's probably not even 15 people watching it. So yeah, they've got this show over there as well. What are you getting? Pretzel. Pretzel? That's paying. We're not in America. America? Yeah, pretzels, so it's what they have in America. Oh yeah, I've had one at... Um... And they're horrible. Yeah, they're so We nice. had one with like coming in salt. Yeah, yeah, it was awful. Chunky salt. Yeah, it was well bad. <laughs> How's your pretzel? It's like cardboard. It's like cardboard. Sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got any of Biscoff left at the end, give it to me. You can drink it. I'll drink it, yeah. I love a, I love a bit of Lotus Biscoff, but yeah, I don't fancy eating them cardboard. It was um, £4.50 for a pretzel and a dip. And she said it's cold as well. Pretzels are meant to be warm. But yeah, Germany is famous for its pretzels as well. Um, but it's more of a... I see that I've seen them more in America. Like, we queued up for the Hollywood ride. At Universal Studios in California, and we got a pretzel there, and it was salty and it was awful. <laughs> yeah. Tell you what, I do like I like the um, the chocolate covered pretzels you can get. They're not what well, they got flips, they're amazing. Those chocolate covered pretzels are nice, but they're just like little biscuits, aren't they? Really, pretzel biscuits, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, but with chocolate on the top, lovely. Well, there you go, that was the Oktoberfest. Let's go and uh, see what this talks about. Yeah, it's a Q&A with Bianca. I can't, I can't get into that. <laughs> All right, 
Hi, Ian. Hello. <laughs> Heather's there as well. Hi. Hi. <laughs> right, so we've just been in the tower suite just there behind me. It's actually upstairs in the uh, rooms there. Just had a talk with Bianca. Uh, we wasn't allowed to film it because of... Well, there was nothing really I couldn't film, to be honest. She didn't actually say anything that I couldn't mention uh, on a vlog. But uh, yeah, the things that most people were asking were things like, when's the Skyride reopening? Hopefully next year. Is Hex got to reopen? Hopefully next year. And uh, yeah, that was about it really. And, and you know, if there's a new plans for rides, there's a new attractions coming. But no, it was quite interesting. Um, yeah, it was nice to meet her as well. At the end, I just went up and said, have you ever thought about doing a, like a dog day event? Because I'd love to bring our dog here, you know? It's, there's plenty of green space here. They can have dog shows and vendors. And she actually said at the beginning of the season, um, staff are allowed to bring the dogs for a walk around the park. So it's something that they may look into doing in the future. Um, she obviously didn't give a definite yes or no, but yeah, it's a, it's a perfect place to come and walk your dog around even if it was just out of season and they had you know half of the park closed off at least you can come around and walk around this section here maybe have a couple of rides open and things and you know, places to have a drink and yeah i just thought it would be quite a nice idea really you know anyway i don't know what we're going to do now probably down to wicker man but yeah it's all right that, wasn't bro. it rubber dingy rapids, rapids bro, bro. Wedge, why are you doing this rubber dingy rapids Sorry? Rubber dinghy rapids, bro. Fast track. Straight on rides. The Alton Towers. No queue. Oh, you like fun fairs then, Wedge? Not fun fair, bro. It's a theme park. Fun fair. How old are you? Alton Towers got a spa, bro. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Uh, she, um, Bianca, was one of the reasons to get the, uh, the, the fountains back on as well. So, yeah, she's doing some good stuff. She's only been here this, this season, yeah. So, uh, Probably go down and do the wicker man now. Rubbering, yeah, and I had done the rubber, rubber dinghy rapids, bro, for a while. <laughs> but yeah, you having a good day, lads? Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Awesome. Right, you let's go. Good, then, yeah, it was all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not one for sitting and talking and answering questions yeah, and put yeah. my hand up and not stuff. All, not always. Yeah, yeah uh, it's like being back at school, isn't it? Like. <laughs> Bianca did like um, a tour video for Sean Sandbrook at the start of the season. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah, and she had the other walk so, around yeah, the, the, the lake. Yeah, the lake. Apparently. Yeah. Like, I, think Charlotte but, was walking back I know, yeah, she was. But yeah, they need to get that back open. Obviously, there's a major issue with it. Um, they, need, they need more transportation at this park. I even was got to suggest the fact, and I've said this for years, that um, do you know like a land train or something? You normally get on seafronts or something. A land train just going around the lake or something. You can have electric ones or even from the car park to the entrance when the monorail's not running. A land train would be a great idea. She said about a train being like too hilly. Well, they used to have a train here. Yeah, but he's where Haunted Hollow is. He Haunted Hollow, yeah, yeah. So they're I thinking know, about it. Like your own park, have like a separate monorail. Like Another monorail, yeah, an updated park. version or a so smaller one version. That's outside the thing, the hotel, so yeah. I've seen the thing park. Yeah, monorail or something. Well, well just watch this space. I know it's, it's, again, speculations and stuff. We would like things here, but obviously it's the cost, it's the time, it's the general public who probably don't even care what rides come in, you know, so yeah, right, anyway, we'll see you in a bit. Right, we're just about to go on the Congo River Rapids with these lot. Yay! Yay! And we're doing a rubber, rubber dinghy rapids, bro, takeover. Rubber dinghy rapids? Sorry? Rubber dinghy rapids, bro. Fast track. Although the uh, key line's pretty big now. But there's, uh, there's a lot of us here. Let's see if we can break it. Yeah, uh, guess what? You're on the telly now. Coaster crazy! You can watch yourself, you can watch yourself back in uh, 1080p. Uh, 720 uh, yeah, I don't, but I don't bother with 4K. It takes up too much memory on my memory card. There's no point. I don't even have a 4K telly. So, And the thing is as well, right, 
when I watch a lot of these reviews about GoPros and cameras, always going, oh yeah, it records in 20k, and I'm like, nobody, nobody has no that. No one can play it back. <laughs> like, no one's into this first. Yeah, well, yeah. Most, most people still watch vlogs on their phones. The phones don't even record, you can't even watch stuff in 4k on your phone. You're right, you're right. It's, yeah, right, so what's the point? 1080p, that's all you need. You know, bog standard basic stuff, you know what I mean? It does the job. Still running the old GoPro 9. Although I might, I might get the 12 eventually, I, I don't really know. I just don't see the point, <laughs> you know. But uh, yeah, take over on the Rubber Dinghy Rapids. Just a, just a job, they're gonna need a bigger boat. Yes, how was the uh, interview with Bian Bianca? Did oh, you? really good. Yeah? Amazing, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like your hat. Yeah. Good park, good though, isn't it? Good park. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, which one do you prefer? Yeah, same yeah. for me. I like the uh, the theme and yeah, I just yeah. like intermin coasters. Everything. Oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> Top coasters, guys. Then Go on. Maverick. Maverick. Yeah. For me, Helix. Helix. Yeah, Helix. Good. Hyperion. Hyperion. What about you guys? Top coasters. Voyage. Not Leviathan. No. Uh, the Voyage. I need to get on that. <laughs> it's someday. Yeah. Uh, Only good day. Yeah. Yay! Awesome. Right. <laughs> I'll see you off the ride because we're not allowed to film on the ride. It is Alton Towers after all. <laughs> Here they come. One of the uh, big big boy boats. So we just had our ride there on the rapids and it was actually very good you don't get that wet i mean for instance this guy here i don't know your name dude sorry Pal. uh yeah he's, he's it's about the same as me a few sprinkles here and there but nothing too much it's all right especially for the uk anyway a really good ride really good rapids good to see the waterfalls back on and um, yeah, it, you don't get that wet on it. Anyway, we're going on the Curse at Alton Manor, one of the, well it is, no it's not, it's the second best dark ride in the UK after flight the Skyline on a 10 minute wait. I haven't done this since it reopened earlier in the year. And I think, I think they've done a bit of updating to it. You were saying you went on it and there's some updates, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, it looks good. Isn't there like the section where it's like a dark corridor? The, the people were complaining it's meant to be like, the speakers are meant to be lower down. Yeah. Like it's whispering no, to you. Yeah. Put the black spots in it. Yeah. Put the black spots in But when it first opened, um, all this whole queue line was open and yeah, this, they've cut that off now because you don't need to, it's, everything's welcome. But, I do like all the lighting around here, the smoke effects are really good. And we've kept it up. Yeah. This, I came on this again when it reopened earlier in the year and I, I loved it. It was, I think it's brilliant what uh, John Burton's done to it. And uh, yeah, I hope he can bring a lot more. Yay! Oh my God, pleasure to meet you. How are yeah, you doing? You're on the telly now. Oh. My words. Yeah. You enjoying yourself today? Oh yes. Obviously, you were somewhat a regular to Alton Towers, are you? Uh, no, it's only no. my second visit this year. Second visit. This yeah. Year? Oh, no, we're we'll come for the uh, pleasure. Oh, right. Yeah. Your experience, guys. So I was gonna say pleasure meet. Yeah, yeah you know. Guy. Yeah, your experience, guy. Well, it's lovely to actually finally meet you. Yeah. yeah. I've been watching your channel for years. Oh, awesome. Well, you're on it now. Hey, well, that's that. But you know. Yeah. yeah awesome. awesome. Hey, have you bought any merch yet? Yeah. No, I haven't, no. Oh. We, we make minimum wage. <laughs> yeah, it's quite expensive, I must admit, but I, didn't, I don't put the prices on it. It's no, 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 it's fine. Spread, it's fine. spread shop. Yeah, no, it's yeah. a pleasure to find me. Nice Enjoy one. The yeah, awesome. And make sure you get us some terror. Yeah, I haven't done, yeah, I haven't done that since it reopened. Yeah, no, that's what's, uh, awesome. Take care awesome staff here as always. It's nice, isn't it? When you have a good day at Towers, it's it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, you know, the staff are great. Aren't yeah, they? they look after you. But you just got to do you just got to do it right. You got to figure out which of the rides are the quiet rides, and you know, so you don't have to wait all Trouble day. Trouble Towers is you can't just jump from one ride to another because no, the place is so big. It's massive. You've got to try and plan your day. Haven't yeah, you? there's the monorail, which wasn't open when I got here this morning. Obviously, I had to walk. But like I said, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it in the vlog earlier that we've got a, we've got an ERT on 13 later on after the park closed, but which means 
the main entrance will be closed, uh, so you have to go out the back entrance near Galactica. Good to see the Roman actor still here as well. Um, awesome. Yeah, unfortunately he can't film in here. I would love to. It wouldn't be very good on the GoPro anyway. That's why I would like to get a new camera that's good in low light. But uh, apparently the GoPro 12 is a bit better and maybe the DJI Action 4, which apparently doesn't overheat, that actually does overheat. Yeah, Dave Sluffy Vlogs, he, he got one recently and he's overheated on him a few times. I think he sent it back, well, that's what he told me anyway. But yeah, cameras, go away. After the pre-show, you can film that bit. You can film the pre-show. But yeah, I love this ride. Some ride, um, yeah. A couple of the you said there's a few things not yeah. working now. Well, I did it this morning, and I would say there's several things gone oh, really down from this morning. Oh, well, I didn't know a couple of hours, and it's uh, just a totally different ride. Yeah, it's only yeah. the third time I've ever done that, and yeah, it truly is one of the best dive rides in the UK. Like. Oh, aye, it's right, really it good, is. even when some of the effects aren't working. It's yeah. really good, it's, still up it's, there. it's, it's brilliant. Yeah, the shop's good as well. One thing I did notice that time there's quite a few smell pods in there as well, some like. Old smells, burning smells, yeah, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. The theming's great, the set design's great, the lighting's great. It's, <laughs> I think a lot of people will sort of agree with me on this one. It's just too fast. It needs to be slowed down, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so you can appreciate. I mean, it's it's walk on, so it doesn't get a massive queue. It's a very good throughput ride. Doesn't need it. Yeah, um, it but it's just so it's so quick. It just goes round the the course so fast that you end up sort of seeing something, and you're like, oh, I wish I could see a bit more of it. But no, it's a fantastic ride. Oh, toilet break. Yeah, fantastic ride. That really, really good. The sweet treats place here is. It's meant to be really nice as well where they do the milkshakes and donuts and cupcakes and stuff but uh, yeah absolutely amazing if you've not been to Alton Towers yet to ride that ride you've got to get yourself here and come on that that's amazing right so another new ride that reopened this year is Nemesis Subterra which I haven't done since it well since it closed really yeah it's uh, basically four drop towers in the dark and you come out and there's a bit of a scare maze at the end this is uh this is new well this one they re-added that i don't mind waiting 35 minutes we haven't really waited long for anything today it's not really been that that busy and then you get the Viewing platform, we'll go up and have a look at that in a minute. That's for they're going to have a shot when they've got in the wrong queue to have a look at Nemesis. <laughs> to go and have a look at Nemesis over there. Right access, yeah. Hey, David! Hey, you all right? <laughs> I tell you what, that is one unique ride. Yeah, we waited around 20 minutes, 30 minutes for it. It's advertised at 30 minutes on the screen there. That is brilliant. I don't know why it was closed for so long, because there's not much to it really. It's basically four mini drop towers. You only drop about eight meters or something like that. And then, yeah, shh. And then you've got a leg it at the end. That is so good. Like really, really, really cool. Um, yeah, it's basically four little drop towers. You don't, you only get the one drop. There's an egg at the top, you drive, drop down, it's the lights go out. Egg. Yeah, Capri's cream egg. It was excellent. You get uh, leg ticklers, <laughs> um, blasts of air, <laughs> back prodders, and then you go through a fake lift. There's a fake lift at the start, fake lift at the end, and then there's a scare actor comes out and sort of jumps in front of you. And then you've got to get out. That is a brilliant attraction. Eh? 
a very late spoilers disclaimer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a very unique attraction, is that? And I can see why uh, Taylor and Sarah from Coaster Studios, when they came over here, you can see why they enjoyed it just as much as everyone else because it's so unique. Here we are. We're on the uh, the walkway that there was rumoured to be paid, but yeah, Bianca said it was never going to be paid. How was that? Sub Amazing. Sub terror. Amazing. Good, isn't it, guys? Yeah, good. Awesome as always. Scary. Yes. <laughs> Can hear her screaming. <laughs> good, isn't it? Excellent. 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 Yes. Excellent. I'll tell you what is excellent. I'll get some closer shots in a minute when uh, geek wear the geek. Yeah, yeah, don't, yeah, don't <laughs> wear shorts on the. On yeah. That. yeah. Um, so, yeah, the track is now in place. I've got Scooch over here. I'll, uh, zoom, I'll zoom in on the edit so you can see it. I'm not using my phone to zoom in or anything. You, can, you, you can't get that close to it. It looks amazing. Obviously, it's Nemesis. Yeah, they're currently working on the state retheming the station. The track looks amazing with its new paint, the black track, black supports and the uh, the veins going through it. I think it looks amazing. Scientific testing. So it's not really a ride that would go on over and over again. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting back on Nemesis Reborn or whatever they call it. I mean, I pretty much guarantee they'll change that sign. I'm sure that'll end up at Sean Sandbrook's uh, World of Theme Park. Hello, it? Sean, Sean. Sean. It's got his, I think he's got his name on that. Yeah, yeah, he'll, he'll have Sean will have that, yeah, yeah. He'll be um, in his new garden shed. <laughs> yeah, so you can't, so other than from standing on a rock and looking over, you, you can't really see a lot of it. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Brand new track from b and &M. And uh, yeah, new trains as well. It's all been rethemed. Yeah, it's got to look amazing. It's got to ride amazing as well. Not like it actually needed retracking it was more to do with the foundations and the age of it more than anything um so yeah, now, yeah extra support. Was support on the, the downward helix it was yeah in because it was they, they dug it out they blew they blew <laughs> the ground out <laughs> to, yeah yeah and all the rocks around here are all the rocks that came out of the pit so is it is it cost a crazy time stop talking to the fish and get us a brew a brew <laughs> what stop talking to the fish what's he on though? that's no idea costa crazy costa crazy Right, so this is the roller coaster restaurant. I'm gonna give you a quick tour because it's actually closed at the minute. I've just popped in to use the toilet, which is just there in front of me. Um, Paul did actually look to see if there's any reservations in here, but they're fully booked until Tuesday. It's a Saturday today, so yeah, they're fully booked until Tuesday, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, I've never been in here before. It's the first time, and it's so unique. It's a lot smaller than I, I thought it was, actually. So basically, the kitchen's up the top. You order everything on an app, so you scan the QR codes like you do in quite a lot of restaurants now. Uh, the kitchen's up at the top, and then, yeah, they come down on trays, down all the all the tracks to your designated table. I think it's brilliant, actually. I like all the concept art and stuff on the walls. There's one for Smiler over here. I'm sure I'm, sure I'm all right to film in here. So you've got a load of concept art over here, one for Oblivion, some old pictures of old rides. So yeah, um, I've been to Europa Park before and they've got Food Loop there. I've, I've not done Food Loop before, but it's basically the same thing, but it's really nice in here. I love all the lighting in here, even on the GoPro. Again, the GoPro's pretty good. As long as there's good lighting, the GoPro's brilliant. You can't knock the GoPro for lighting. Um, all the projection maps. You've got a Wickerman model on the top there. That's really cool. However, I prefer, I'd prefer that if it was in a in a better position so you could see it. So concept for it as well. That's it, really. Yeah, so it's not very big, so you can see how it can get fully booked up. And the uh, Costa 
cup that I just showed you a second ago. I think it's still on the side. Yeah, I've left it there. Thank you. Oh, these is like the things that come down, and you just pop it in the, in the basket. We'll come, we'll come back again. I'll, I'll do a de designated vlog from here. But yeah, I've got a, the um, oh, maple syrup, maple, maple, maple latte. It's rather nice. Yeah, we have got to go over and do Galactica, but it's on an <laughs> it's on an hour wait. But yeah, there's the roller coaster restaurant if you want to know. It's more open towards the, the end of the day as well. And then once you've eaten in here, the park's closed, you can actually walk out of the park. What? What a bunch of nutters. Are we on the telly now? It's nice in there, you know. Yeah, you've been on the telly all day. Nice if it was open. Yeah, yeah, it's quite small actually. It's the first time I've actually been in there. But um, yeah, it's nice. We'll have to come back another another time. Yeah, I've not I've not had him on the vlog yet today. Here he is. Oh, hey there. How are we doing? It's my twin brother Ben. Hey. hey. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. We mentioned this before in mm -hmm. his vlog, but uh, yeah, he went to Fantasyland a few years ago. Yeah, now, yeah. And the grind operator for Fly thought he was me. You know, the worst it's, thing was, mate, like, oh. basically, I thought, wow, my channel's reached over to Germany, and then suddenly he went to me, ha-ha, I'm on the telly now! I was like, for God's sake! <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, you, yeah. you can't make it up, it's hilarious. And then I met the same ride operator when I went last year, or whatever it was, but... Are you having a good day, Ben? Smashing it. I'm hey, loving sharing I'll, this flame with people. I don't... Um, promote a lot of channels that often because I forget but it's down at the but it's down at the bottom of the screen here somewhere been there done that thank you very much go and subscribe um yeah it's it's, it's really funny <laughs> it's a professional comedian don't you know get out of here give us a, go on, give us a job quick job quick fire job uh what's the secret to origami don't know the secret to origami is twofold that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But yeah, you're having a good day, Ben. Of course I am. Awesome. I'm seeing Andy Romney, of course I am. I'm on the, I'm on the bloody telly now. He's on the bloody telly. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you do, don't get one of these maple because it's really strong. Yeah. He's trying to cut down. He's actually looking quite slim. Saying that, we both look slim on the GoPro. I know, I know, don't we? Wide don't angle we? lenses. That's where it's at. I know, out. I know. We're going to do a palp. <laughs> that might be my new thumbnail. But nice to see you, Ben. No, of course, always a pleasure. Yeah, right. I uh, don't know what we're doing now, but yeah, having a really good day here. Wicked, man. Wicked, wicked. Right, it's time to ride the UK's second, second, second best wooden coaster in the UK. After uh, Megaphobia, of course. But no, I do love this. I love a good GCI. Oh my god, it's massive queue. What do you reckon? It says 50 minutes, but it's... We um, could eat now. Um, what, what else will How does better? It's 4 o'clock now. Yeah. We've got two hours, or two and a half hours before what 13. Have we been on? Uh, so what else do you want to do? Apart from wizard? have tea. Wicker man. <laughs> Oh god. No. We'll have to play our spy yeah. to get, make the time go faster. Oh, I've got a bag of sweets with me bag anyway. We're all right. Big pop! Big pop! Big pop! Big pop! Big pop! We've just been on the Wicker Man, waited about 50 minutes, and my yeah. new mate here, Wee Big Tam from Mother, yeah. Motherwell, he's yeah. a local park, unfortunately, he's a M and D's. Oh. Never been on the Wicker Man before, first time. What did you think? Uh, best wood in the country. 
Easy. O other than megaphobia. That's a different country. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Good point. It, it's the best wooden coaster in the UK. Oh, in the country. Yeah, in no, the no. in England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's good, isn't it? Amazing. Yeah, really good. The whole package, yeah, like the, the just yeah. standing around watching it, the pre-show, getting yeah. on the train. There was no problem, even though it was a it's a wee big man. He, 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 he struggled a bit because he's obviously the, with the height. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's good, isn't it? Jason literally leaned on it a Loved little it. bit. Loved it. His, fa his favourite wooden lost, coaster lost before lost. was uh, the Grand, Grand National. National he's, yeah. he, he's lost for words. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> awesome. Brilliant ride. We all enjoyed it. Yeah. You yeah, like the wicked man? Wicked, wicked man. Wicked man. Wicked man. In with his puns all day. How good is that ride? He loved it. I can't believe he loved it. I'm, I'm, yeah. It's yeah, awesome. That's come down in price. Has it? It's only 35 quid now. Oh, is it? <laughs> Three and a half grand, mate. Three and a half grand. Three and a half. Out. I'm surprised that no one's bought that. I could probably make you one for. Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah, surprised no one's bought it. There we go. Uh, Wicker Man. It is the best wooden coaster in England, like Big Tam said. Not the UK. That's megaphobia, because that's in Wales. But uh, you know what I mean. Um, as a whole package, as a ride. It, it, it really is one of the best wooden coasters in the world. The ride's yeah. brilliant. It's even got water Back, effects. Yeah, the effects, the, the pre-show, everything. It's brilliant. Like it's so smooth. It's intense. It's fast. It's got airtime. The trains are amazing. Anyone that's wanting to retrack their coaster, yeah, go with a Gravity Group or a GCI, but don't go with the uh, Timberliner trains. These are the best, are they? The, yeah. the, the, the Millennium Flyer trains are, are incredible. And as I just said to Wee Big Tam, imagine, and he agrees with me, imagine if Grand National was retracked by GCI and it had the same trains as this. It'd be, it'd be world class, yeah, wouldn't it? Would be, yeah. It doesn't need RMC. No, no, no. Just, just do the, just do the GCI retrack, yeah, like they sense. did with Ghost Rider at Knott's Berry Farm, which is currently my, num new, my number two wooden coach in the world. Right, I think we're pretty much done, aren't we, really? We've got um, time to get some food. And then, uh, AIT on 13. No, no, we've had an awesome day today. Right, uh, one of our penultimate rides is going to be Gangster Granny, the ride. And it's just only on 10 minutes, apparently, according to the app. We all had a good time, guys. Yay. He's still buzzing after the wicker man. <laughs> the man. How do you say it? The wicker man. The wicker man. Let's go. Gangster granny time. It is one of the best dark rides in the UK. I know Coaster Studios came and they didn't understand it, but I've never read a, a David Walliams book before, so I didn't know anything about it either, to be honest. But it's a really good dark ride. Um, yeah, I was going to try and show you where Project Horizon is going to be. It's basically the back of here, where the old coaster, coaster corner used to be. Um, it's still got the twister in here as well. And the, the, the farty ride. No, this is a, it's a good ride. We've had a really good day today. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Uh, don't forget to... Uh, Comment, like, and subscribe if I remember to edit it in at this point because I normally do it at the end. But yeah, comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to buy merch like he did. Buy the Yay! Merch. Buy the buy merch. merch. It is expensive. I didn't put the prices on it. But yeah, if you want to find the merch, just go on YouTube. I'll show you, actually. I'll show you. Right, so you go on YouTube, on my channel, and you go to uh, store. And it's all on there. Right, I'll see you when we come off the ride. Signal the visitors through the security. Oh, wait, There you go, that was a gangster granny the ride. There you get your photos there as well. If you want one. But yeah. Into the shop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a good ride, isn't it, Tam? Yeah, it's good. first time on it. Yeah. He's got a dark ride credit. <laughs> oh, drinks, yeah. I might get a, yeah, something in a bit. Monster, monster crazy. 
I think there's a, is there a smell pod in here? Mm. Yeah. I smell something. Smell oh, there was before, yeah. It's such a unique ride. Yeah, I do understand that people come from another country might not get that. I mean, yeah, if you've not really read the books or anything, you wouldn't know yourself. I didn't know anything about it either when I first came here. It's such a unique ride. Obviously, you can't film on the ride, but yeah, it's a really good dark ride. There's some 2D effects, there's some full-on effects in there. There's screens, there's projections, there's bubbles, there's fart smells. It's brilliant. and. There's characters. Hello there. Oh, no, no, you're a real person. Oh, yes, I'm a beef eater. Is it a beef eater? From, from London, don't you know? Yes, I've been shipped off fresh. All oh, right, okay. Beef here nice and fresh and ready. And, and, and the it. shopkeeper, Raj's yeah. number one assistant. Hi, that's me, yeah, I look after my shop. Well, Raj's shop. That's why it's called Raj's shop. Who, <laughs> who would have thought, eh? <laughs> yeah, I look after it whilst Raj is away, you know, best deals in the house. You know? I'll tell you what, you've got, a, you've got a good beard. Oh, thank you very much. You've yeah. grown yourself. Oh, he's grown himself. Yeah, I keep getting mine trimmed. It wouldn't. It's not as long as this. How long? How long does it take you to grow that? I think it's about 50, 50 to 60 years. 50, 60 years? Yeah. It's been wow. Long. How old it's are you then? At least 200. Wow. He's an old guy. Yeah. That's yeah that, that's, that takes a long time to grow that. Yeah. Top yeah. beard. That. Yeah, but no, you. good ride. How was it? It that, is alright. Yeah. Really? You, like you like it, Jason? Yeah, yeah. It's a good ride, isn't it? Alright, oh, it's ace. I love his bag. <laughs> Zadra. Good ride. Have you got more chocolate? More chocolate. Uh, don't tell anyone. What? I'll be in proper trouble. Oh, no, you. don't tell him. That is the, the best dark ride. ride. But you're on the telly now. I'm on telly. <laughs> With his chocolate bag on. Best dark ride in the country. You think? Except for Manor. Oh. It's uh, and, 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 and like the skyline at Legoland. I've never been on that, so uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't it's know. really good. I, that I, was great, and that is based on a true story. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I think you'll oh, find. Is it really? Wow, <laughs> it's amazing, that, yeah. But there's some really, we do have some unique dart rides in the UK. Obviously, we can't forget Wallace and Gromit at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Alice in Wonderland, Jeez, the original Ghost Train as well. I need to get back to Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I haven't been this season. And um, yeah, that's pretty much our day here at Alton Towers. However, we've now got a, an ERT on 13, which I'll probably just do the once because even some of my fans, people that know me here, know that I'm not that keen on backwards coasters. I'm, not keen on spinning coasters, so I might only do it the once. Spin though. And nobody goes backwards. <laughs> 13 is the best ride on the park, bar none. Really? This is a fact. You're a comedian. He's come up with some it's, really good no, jokes today. This is absolutely <laughs> It's the best ride on the park. Anyone could go on it. Yeah. It's unique. It is very unique. It's a world first. Yeah. And we've got it for an hour to us. Wow. Oh, I'm, I'm still only doing it the once. <laughs> oh, I've <laughs> mentioned, get yourself some merch as well. I, I don't think I'm after the crazy boats. Yeah. But yeah, have we had all a good day, lads? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. It's been a it's been a cracking day. And it Tam. Really? And he's well happy because he's been on Wicker Man. <laughs> the Wicker Man. Wicked man. Wicked, wicked. Jungle is massive. But no, we've had a good day. Um again, really good event organised by Scott from your experience guide. If you want to do these events, I did mention it, I didn't know the cost because Paul paid for me, but it was about 20 quid. Um, and yeah, so you get, you get the lanyard, uh, we've had the two AR, we haven't had the second one, but we get the two ERTs, uh, which stands for extended ride, is it time? Extended ride time? Exclusive, yeah. exclusive oh, ride time. Oh, exclusive ride time. And there's ERS as well, which is extended ride session, isn't it? Mm. Exclusive ride know. session. Yeah. So, yeah, if you want to, <coughs> excuse me, if you want to do these events, go online, go to your experience guide. And it's not just these as well, it's obviously the European Coaster Club. They do some really good events. And the Roller Coaster, Roller Coaster Club, of Club of, thank you, Roller Coaster Club, Club of Great Britain. There's also Tower Times, there's, there's so many, Clubs. I think Tower Street might be here as well. A Tower Street. What are they here today? I think they have been. Have the they? Fest Arena. All right. Okay. So yeah, Towers times as well. So uh, yeah, get yourself onto an event. Come and have a, a good day out with your mates. <laughs> right. Here we go. It's currently 
just gone half six and we now have 13 for an hour? Have we got an, hour? an hour, yeah. An hour. I've got to do it. I've got to try and do it twice, I think. Or twice. That and might. Zero, make it 20. See if I can't get a game over after two rides. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably try and ride with my, my, my new mate. It's a Wee Big Tam. Though, Big Tam. It's his first time. Can't believe this. He's probably the only person here today that's gained three credits. <laughs> and you probably haven't been on Octonauts either. Oh. Oh. The little well, kids' really cred in um, CBBS. <laughs> Four creds he could have got today. Damn, he, could, he should have told us. Is could it have got mine train. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That yeah. Uh, that one. Twelve years ago. Oh, uh, 2012 was the last time he was here. But no, we've had an awesome day, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's been well good. Yeah, What's your best cred of the day? Wicked man. Wicked man. Yes. <laughs> Wicked man. <laughs> Wicked. <laughs> Wicked man. Wicked man. <laughs> Right, it's the end of the day, isn't it, Paul? Yeah, and a very good day. It's We've been had too. a well good day, thanks to Scott organising the event. Um, yeah, it's been awesome, isn't it? Lovely We've just man. done um, 13, I did three rides and you like ten part time. Filed man. out. Yeah, done, with the big boys, you did 10. He did 10. Yeah. Mary Jane did 10. You did 10, yeah. Jason. How many? Mary Jane did yeah, 10, yeah. Ten. We've beaten everyone as well. We walked through uh, Haunted Hollow. <laughs> We've got to walk out the uh, Galactica exit. But no, it's been a really good day. We've done loads of rides today. Um, a lot of walking. I've lost nearly 1,500 calories. I've walked nearly 15,000 steps, We're beating all these guys to the exit. Um, yeah, it's been good. Yeah, it, Paul? fantastic. Yeah, thank you for um, paying for oh, the... That's all right. Yeah, yeah. All right. about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't. <laughs> um, right, but there you go. Uh, it's the end of the day. It's the end of the vlog. Uh, like, uh, so, yeah, see you later, Ben. <laughs> it's been awesome to meet everyone here as well. Um, it's been... Are you your chopper? <laughs> I used to be at one point. <laughs> but uh, no, it's been very good. Again, if you haven't subscribe please do so if you haven't bought any merch go and do buy that as well buy a t-shirt buy the description buy the merch he, he has thank you Mary Jane's bought one yeah, yeah Mary Jane's yeah <laughs> she's got a pink one um yeah that's it for the vlog I hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to comment like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for next time we upload a video give the video a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and for most lot here at Alton Towers Resort it <laughs> it's time to say bye, bye for now, now.